I fear no evil, for you are with me. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory Lord to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await the master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants. Hope the Master finds vigilant for his arrival. Amen, I say to you. He will gird himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this. If the Master of the house had known the hour, when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a while. First of all, let me acknowledge the presence of our division commander and the commander of the Joint Task Force, Diamond, Major General Romeo Saturnino Brown, Jr. Sir. Our assistant division commander, Brigadier General Oliver Tango Lilio, our assistant division commander for retirees and service affairs, Colonel Michel Batal and Jr., our chief of staff, Colonel Romel V. Almaria, sir. Our Assistant Chief of Staff for Personnel, D1, Colonel Francisco B. Molina, Jr. Our D4, Lieutenant Colonel Atinal Labordo. Our D6, Lieutenant Colonel Bon Michael Blasek. Our D8, Colonel Romeo Emilia, sir. And our Acting Commandant, BPS, Lieutenant Colonel Christian Poy, other officers around Diamond Roberts, to the family of Christian Joy, to Sir Manuel, the husband, Chichi, the sister, and other members of the family. We saw now in the Pablo Puli and now in the South Coast of Pakistan. You know, when I receive a text message from one of the officers of our <coughs> Division Training School last Friday, July 16, at around 5 o'clock in the morning, asking me if he could make a call, I knew that it was not something usual and ordinary. And so I immediately called him up, and then he told me about what happened the night before to one of our candidate soldiers, three weeks, Christian Joy. And he was asking me to accompany him and assist him in breaking the sad news to the family. Ramdam ko ang bigat at ang hirap ng pagdadala ng hindi magandang balita sa pamilya. At nang nakarating kami sa resident ni Christine, at pagkatapos namin nakausap si Sir Manuel, ramdam ko din ang mas mabigat na nararamdaman niya that was expressed by the words, Bakit ganito? Bakit nangyari, sir? Hindi ko ito kaya, sir. I need my family. Kailangan ko makausap si Chichi. Hindi ko kaya mag-isa. That indeed, death came to Christian joy like a kid in a night when no one was ready, none of us was prepared. And to some of her friends, like uh, the Mai Mai, 
and the mother of Namai, one of our civilian human resources, some evangelical say do not think that, who knew Christian joy, who knew sila ng panghihinayan, not only because of his gifts, talents, and abilities, but above all, yung mabuting tao, katawan, ni Christian joy. But again, we can also, we can only say, God's ways are not our ways. God's plan is different from our plan. But for us who believe that there is someone up there who is most merciful, most loving, para sa atin na miniwala na may, mayroong Diyos na lumikha sa atin, a God who sustains us with His grace, ang Diyos na nagbibigay sa atin ng buhay na ito, how shall we understand How, how should we take this reality? This is a powerful reminder to all of us that our life in this world is a journey that we are all pilgrims. We are traveling and we are on our way to our true home which is in heaven with God. Na ang buhay natin ay mayroon ito man ng tatlong mundo, tatlong stages nadadaanan natin lahat. The first stage of our life is that life inside the womb. And that life must die. That life must end. Because unless our life inside the womb dies, our life in this world will never begin. But the moment that our life inside the womb ended, it was the very moment that we were born into this world. Nag-umpisa ang ating buhay dito sa mundo. And our life in this world certainly will come to an end. Dahil wala pa namang nag-idad ng 200 at buhay na buhay pa. At ang buhay natin ay panapanahon lamang. Pag dumating na ang ating panahon, ito ay dumating na. Pag hindi pa, hindi pa. Ah, ang ilan sa atin ay madaling nakarating sa kanilang finish line. Ang iba naman ay matagal. Matagal-tagal. But all of us, at the appointed time, magtatapos ang buhay natin sa mundo. But ano ba ang katapusan ng ating buhay hanggang kamatayan ng po ba? Hindi mo. The life of Christian joy here on earth may have ended. But because we believe that we are created by a powerful and loving God, we also believe that the moment that our life in this world ends, The moment that the life of Christ and joy in this world ended, that was also the very moment that she was born to life eternal. And the pain na nararamdaman natin ay parang pain din na nararamdaman ng isang ina when we were born into this world. There is always pain and separation. But we believe that death is actually the door to life eternal. That death is the door towards the fulfillment of our being, the perfection of our being, the real, realization of our potentials, that is to be with our Creator, to be with God in the Kingdom of Heaven. Now, na lamang si Christian sa atin, si Joy, and at the point of time, all of us will follow. Ngayon, pabawalan natin siya ng ating kasala, pamalangin. And we also pray for Sir Manuel and their child, that they will be able to begin a new life in the absence of joy in their life. And we pray, we will continue to pray for the whole family, that may God's Spirit will grant you that grace, that you may be comforted and consoled by our faith, that Christ's life does not end in death. Christian joy is just achieving the fullness of life to be with God in the kingdom of heaven. One day, we will see its other again. For all of us, we continue to pray. Let us all stand. We unite our prayers for our sister Christian joy and in every petition let the response be Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. In baptism, 
we sing joy we see the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and me. We sing joy over the waters of death. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Our sister, we sing joy, was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We ask you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and away the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. We ask you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly. These sins against your love and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. We ask you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Christian joy seek comfort and consolation. Hear the pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. We ask you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of Christian joy who sleep in Christ and grant her a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we humbly present to you the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Christian God, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your Son to be a loving Savior may find in Him a merciful God who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of blessed resurrection has grown, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful people, Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angels and like angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we are playing. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please remain standing. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
May it hold in your fold this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took that chalice, once more gave you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar Haile, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sister, your daughter, Christine John, whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like this, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we humbly pray. from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the, power, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, sir. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the things of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the things of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the things of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for life everlasting. Amen. sacrament of his body, put for the journey, mercifully grant, that strengthened by it, our sister Christian joy may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister Christian joy. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day, we shall joyfully greet her again, when the love of God, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. 
in every invocation that your response be, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to Christian Joy's aid. Come to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Christian Joy, may Christ so call you, take you to Himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Response. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest, grant unto our sister, praise and joy, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and, and present her. her to God the Most High. To you, O Lord, we command the soul of Christian joy, your servant, in the sight of this world, she is now dead. In your sight, may she live forever. Forgive whatever sin she may have committed through human weakness. And in your goodness, grant her everlasting peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christian joy, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May choir of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham where Lazarus is poor no longer. And may God grant you eternal rest. Amen.